Hello everyone, welcome back to another tutorial on Games by Saul. Today's video is a bit different because I'm in a new setup right now and I haven't got anything really properly set up and I'm not even here for that long. So I thought I'd just try and get a quick tutorial out and it might not be the highest of quality, like, especially for the audio, but just for now, I think this will be a good tutorial. So on my last Magic of Voxel video, someone asked, how do you do a missive? And there's a way to do it in Magic of Voxel, but I don't prefer that way. I prefer to do it through other means, which means Unity or Blender. And I'll be showing you how to do it through both of them. So first, let's get an object. So you've probably got your own object, but for now I'm just gonna use a character, like this guy. So here we have the old character. And now there's a few things we can do. So let's say you wanna pick something that you wanna make a missive. I am gonna go for his walking stick. So what you wanna do is you wanna erase the walking stick. So he has no walking stick now, but don't worry, we'll give him a new one. We're going to give him a new one by using the layer system. The layer system in Magical Voxel is actually really good. So what you do is you're going to add a new object in, so that, that, and we're going to set it to the same size as the old map. So I think that was 20, 21, 20. And there it is. So then we'll put them on the same spot, we'll go into it, and we'll draw on a new, a new stick for them. And now I'd say make it white, make sure the colour for it is very white because you want to have full control over what the colour is in the end. So there we go, he has a new stick. Call it stick at the top there. And if we hide that layer, boom, stick's gone, hide that one, or man's gone. So there we go. Now there are ways to do it in Magical Voxel, but I'll be honest with you, I don't know them. <laughs> so I thought I'd just show you the other ways to do them. So you want to export your project, you can export it wherever you want. I'm going to just do it on my desktop and we'll go into Blender with it. So once it's in Blender, you want to import it. So once it's imported, if everything's gone right, if you go into Material View, you should see this. So all the materials have dragged over. That's because we have the palettes. So if you go on the materials, I see palette 01 and palette. So let's just rename these palettes. I'm going to call it Stick Mat 1. And we'll call that Man Mat 1. And then the next thing I want to do is just parent the stick to the old man. So there we go, they're all parented together. So if you want to add a missive in Blender and you don't want it in Unity, you just want to have it looking nice, what I'd say to do is, so we go on to our material view and it's quite easy. So we have to stick material here and we are adjusting that. So a mission, turn that all the way up and there you go, you've got a mission. So we go into this. So there we go, you can see it's a missive. This is in the cycles viewport. So if we change that to, uh, sorry, my mistake. This is an EV render engine. If we change that to cycles, you'll see even more there. Cycles does use more power though, so be aware of that and you can pick the color of it. So blue, and because we made it white, as you can see, the color seems to match a lot better. So there we go. The ones if you didn't do that, if you didn't make them separate objects in Magical Voxel, don't worry, all hope is not lost. So we'll go back into this view just so it's a bit easier. So what you can do in Blender, which is a lovely tool, is you can just select the faces of what you want to assign a material to, click add a new material, we'll call it Stick Mat 2, And we'll click assign. And now it's got a brand new material called Stick Map 2. And you can swap between them if you're in edit mode, you can. And there you go. And it doesn't even matter if they're not um, separate objects when you import them. If it's the same, as long as you select the faces, those faces will have this new material. And that's how it works. And now you've got a blank material which you can just go, okay, well, I'm going to give that more emissive. Give it a red emissive and make sure you change the base color because it's not it's not actually white. We'll go back into render view and there you go. Look at that, he's got like a little red lightsaber he's holding. And that's how you do it in an engine. But let's say you want it in Unity to have its own emissive. Now there are ways you can bake the textures like the emission and bring it across. However, Unity is pretty good for how you want to do it. So I'm going to show you how you can do it just straight in Unity. So first open Unity and import your mesh. So here he is, let's drag him into the scene. As you can see, lovely right rotation and everything. He's got a stick because we parented it. And what we want to do now is on his model there, you want to click extract material and choose a folder for those materials to get extracted to. So as you can see, the materials are already kind of sorted out for you already. So the man main material, the man material has already got this palette as its base map and that's fine. Now the stick map 2 we are using, this is the blank one we assigned. If you use the other one, that's fine. Just make sure you assign the palette to it. So now you're going, well, how do I add a mission to it? It's not a mist. Well, you turn on a mission, 
You don't have to give it a mission map because that would be the texture, that, but I don't have one, obviously. So you pick a color. So we're going to go for like a nice red. And you go, well, that doesn't look very emissive. Well, there you go. <laughs> it's because it's in the game view, the uh, post-processing actually takes effect. And for post-processing for this, make sure you have bloom enabled because if you don't, it just won't work. See? So a nice bloom happens. There he is being all red. Uh, we give it another color. Let's say we want it to be blue. Well, there we go. It's a missing and it's blue. And obviously you can't see that in the scene. There probably might be a way to see that in the scene. I don't know off the top of my head. But let's rotate him round. Old man, let me rotate you like that. And as you can see, I mean, he's a bit bright, but we play. Go into him. Other than being extremely bright and having a really bright walking stick, he is a missing. And that's basically what this tutorial is about. Sorry this is so rushed and not what you, the quality you're used to. It's just I really need to get this out quick because I'm not where I should be right now. I, I'm not at home. I've moved away back to uni, but only for a few days. So yes, thank you everyone for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. If this tutorial helped you, please let me know down below and consider giving me a like and subscribe and I'd really appreciate it. If you have any more requests for me to do Magic of Voxel, let me know and I'll show you. Thank you everyone for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.